time that Shaolin Monks takes, um, you know, this long heritage of Mortal Kombat history that everybody knows and puts it into an action adventure game. Um, cooperative, um, Liu Kang and Kung Lao playing, um, you know, platform abilities, super moves, punches, combos, air juggles, combats. It's um, really crazy, and uh, it's kind of like we're really excited because it's our, you know, it's our the, the Mortal Kombat team's kind of first um, uh, attempt that I'm involved with um, for the action adventure type games. The uh, the opening scene of the game is actually at the very end of Mortal Kombat One, so it's in the exact kind of transition between Mortal Kombat One and Two. So you have Liu Kang kind of winning the Mortal Kombat tournament, and him and Kung Lao get separated from the rest of the. Uh, the guys from Mortal Kombat, and they kind of go off on this adventure by themselves, and that's the whole story of the uh, Chalamux. Well, this was the first. This actually is the first time that this particular team has has um, gone off and done the X adventure, and we, we've wanted to do it for years now. And you know, Liu Kang and Kung Lao is an obvious kind of like um, pairing of of, of guys. Um, the company uh, Paradox, which is um, doing the development in um, in Los Angeles, um, which is now Midway LA is um, they had come to us with the game and we thought it was a perfect mechanic to do Mortal Kombat so we took their character, changed it to Liu Kang and Kung Lao, made it two players, added a lot of these more accessibility things and um, so we're really excited about you know just the fact that it's something other than a fighting game. The, the basic fighting mechanic is really like you know you have your quick attacks, your strong attacks, your pop-up attacks and your throws and that's where you kind of start off with and then as you gradually play the game, those moves get kind of upgraded into more powerful versions of the moves. So all of a sudden you're throwing people in the air and you're juggling people up and with the two player combo what's really fun is you're actually kind of like almost playing ping pong in the air with the bodies of your opponents. That's really kind of what sets this game apart is the, the two player cooperative at the same time and the puzzles are very like, you know, throw a body into this catapult and it throws it over there and it opens up an area or throw a body through a wall. It's very uh, much... Um, in tandem with the gameplay where you're actually blasting bodies. So you actually have a reason to do um, to throw your opponents into certain areas of the backgrounds. Well, the one, the one button basically is like the big power move that stuns your opponent. And then you have to do the combination, just like the previous Mortal Kombat games, to do a fatality. And a lot of times the fatality like, you know, there's this one room where you, you, you do a fatality and the, the blood fills up a certain area and then it opens up a door and stuff. So it's, it's actually integrated into the, into the game, but it's the same premise um, with the, the secret moves, but each character has, you know, many, many fatalities. You know, some have ten fatalities per, per, per guy. So it's a lot more um, to discover in this game than it is in the fighters. Every background has a secret. Um, there are fatalities where you're, you know, you're knocking people off of, of, of you know, hordes of, of enemies off of the, the pit into spikes. So you see all, all the kind of like the, the favorite fatalities, background fatalities from the earlier Mortal Kombat games you see in abundance in this game. It's just all over the place. You know what, every, pretty much every background that you've known from Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, Goro's Lair, the pit, the, um, the Sky Temple, all of these um, kind of infamous backgrounds are now kind of in, in full three dimensions and you're able to completely you know, explore the whole area. So there's a lot of stuff that you see is familiar, but then you see a lot more detail on it. You know, as, as, as much detail as like you know, the flying witch in front of the moon and stuff, and all of those actually have a meaning into, into this game. All of the, of the major Mortal Kombat characters make at least an appearance in terms of you fight them. Um, some of them uh, like you know, uh, Sub Zero and, and, and Scorpion, at, or you know, are unlockable as characters that you can play in, in the game. We're actually, you know, we haven't come up with our full roster of which characters are going to be playable, you know, at the very end of the game. But we're definitely going to have characters that you want to play in addition to Liu Kang and Sub and, uh, and Kung Lao, and they have their own signature moves. You know, you'll see Sub Zero with his freezing and his slide and all that stuff all in that exact same, you know, kind of uh, adventure, but with their moves, so it's a, it's, a, it's a different experience after that. There's the single player mode, there's the co-op mode, and then there's the, um, like, the the one-on-one the -on -one fighting mode, which you have there, which is using the same mechanics as the adventure game, but it's just on the, you know, me versus you, you know, me playing Kung Lao, you playing Liu Kang, and it's a lot, you know, it's kind of like similar to, um, like the, the Smash Brothers Melee or Power Stone or something where you actually run around, you pick up 
you pick up power ups and then you have you know more abilities and stuff. So the the background and where you are in the background plays a much bigger role than like a traditional fighter. For next gen Mortal Kombat will definitely be you know um, darker, grittier, more photorealistic, you know um, yeah, nuances to. to to ridiculous levels and um, and a whole new completely fighting engine. Our, 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 our goal is to really just, again, wipe the slate clean and just kind of start anew with this generation of, uh, of hardware.